Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the Photoshop series, we are going to see how to quickly use the flame tool or the flame filter uh, and to make uh, an animation out of it in few quick steps and to make a quick win out of this. Without any further, let me start directly. We start with the standard 1000 by 1000. Uh, we are going to just place the guidelines so we can work on it. We are going to add a small square. A rectangle here just I like to center it because there is no selection I'll center it in the compass okay I'd like to use for the fill this natural color which gives a little bit the effect of the uh, wood of the matches okay then I'm going to add the head of the match, I add it on a new layer so we make sure that here is the shape and then we make the head of the match I will give it the red color then I will make Control G, so I'll make a new layer. You can see it here, that's a copy of the layer. I call this one black. This one we'll call it red. And the black one, B. I'm going to extend it a little bit, so Control T. It's linked together the width and the height, so I'm just increase it by 10%. And I'm going to change its color. I return again to my tool, the same tool you had created, and then you change the color. Now uh, it is black. Now remaining the important part that to add the flame. Control Shift N. I will add it in a new layer. I'll use the same pen tool, but this time I'll use. I will make a path. This passage will, will be for the flame. I will start from here. To create a flame or to, to use a flame filter, you need to have a path. So now I will go to Filter, Render, Flame. The exact settings of the flame you will find it on our uh, link for uh, the blog. You will find it the details of steps of this uh, tutorial with this, all the settings uh, of the uh, of the flame. But we are using this type uh, of flame for now. We have a lot of type. You can use a candle one, for example. I'm using number five. You can use number six, which is a candle light. It will give you totally uh, different. And but you need to change a little bit the settings. For, for the time being, I'll be using five now with all standard. And I'll hit OK. Okay, now you had your match ignited. Now I need to add an animation for all these layers. So first thing, because this is uh, a path with an effect on the path, it's not going. Um, it's not going to make the transformations that I need in my video. So first, I'm going to duplicate this layer and then rasterize it. So Control J. Duplicate the layer and then the, the layer copy. I'm going to to rasterize it. So Alt L Z, which is rasterize L rasterize. So I need to so it's already rasterized this layer. I ha we had rasterized it. I had deleted the other layer. Now I'm going to create my timeline window. Timeline, then I create a video timeline. I will I will decrease this a little bit to be able to see the start and the end. The rectangle part with the match, I'm not going to change it. So Control Z just to have the complete look. After that, the red. That's my start uh, point. 
so I'm going to, uh, to start here uh, with the opacity for the red I need to start with an opacity 100% so I'm going to make the opacity 100% and record this po uh, first point uh, for the ahead of the match before ignition which is the red one for the black I'll record the, uh, the opacity of the black in the beginning to zero because it is a match before burning I will record this one as a first point and then for the fire layer smart objects convert, convert to smart objects now we can see that you have here with the fire the transformation I'm going to move till the end and to add this shape of the fire as the end part so that's transform and when I come back in the very beginning I need this size of the fire to be minimum and opacity to be zero so I'm going to change it so control T I'll change this to 10% it will be very small just I'll bring it in the center of the match here and I will record enter and I will record this point and for the opacity I needed to start here from opacity 0 so this one opacity is 0 here just I remove the opacity and return it again to make sure it's recorded as 0 and at the very end I need its opacity to be 100 if you go to the other layers the black at the very end I need the black opacity to be 100 because now my match is burned and if I move to the red just I need to click on the opacity to make sure that I am selecting the opacity and for the red at the end I need its opacity to be 0 you can see it's coming automatically now let's play our video now let's replay Now we have a very nice animation uh, for your match while ignited. Thank you for following so far. Uh, join our channel. Uh, activate the bell to receive our videos just as they release. You can see here uh, on the top the link to our channel, uh, to our blog post. Uh, follow uh, this link. Uh, jo uh, join our post so you can receive the updates. And you will find the settings uh, for the fire and all these details. You will find it on our blog post. Thank you for following so far. See you in coming videos.